Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl the moon goddess. All right, so hello to all of my new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Come on in. You're going to love it here, okay, Sagittarius? All right, for some reason, I was compelled to use this deck for your reading today, Sagittarius. So let's see what's going on with our Sagittarius. Is. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is the Tale of Green and Lux deck by Cairo Marchetti. This is actually one of my favorite decks. I haven't used it in a while, but you know what? It was like calling to me today. So let's see what's going on with our Sagittarius. It says, using this deck. Okay, Sagittarius. So it does look like there is a moment that's happening. Okay, a shocking moment with the Tower card here. But it does look like this moment is ultimately going to lead to some new beginnings happening for you. Something starting up for you here. Something being a little bit more ignited here. A passion here. Okay, sometimes you got to shake the foundation in order for some things to move. All right, so I do see like with that... I do see that it is going to be a good outcome here. There can be some things that started off a little bit shaky here, but maybe the way that they're um, moving now is ultimately opening up like different ways for you to think about going about how to handle this situation and how to move forward. It is something that is ignited with you here. And then we have the Three of Pentacles here. So I do feel like this is something that's ultimately going to take some planning, some time, some energy for you to put in a blueprint. If you hear any noise in the background, please pardon the noises. I do have my window open, so just bear with me, Sagittarius. Okay, so I do see you working hard at something. I see you working together with some people or some things here because you see this man here working and it's like the blueprint is here okay but it's also being built in the background so i do see you over here making progress in regards to whatever this is that's going to be ignited i feel like you're going to get a passion here or get something started that's going to cause you to work hard and you're going to be able to be doing that along with having all the tools that you need in order to make that thing that dream that idea or whatever this is here that's ignited from this shaky moment with the tower we're going to make that possible. Let's see what else is going on with you. Yep, King of Wands. So you're being very direct here. I feel you being very independent. And I feel you moving towards your independence here and uncovering some things here. This can be a reason why this tower moment is happening for some reason. I feel like whatever is being uncovered with this moon card here is also a reason why this tower moment is happening. I feel like there can be some things that you're finding out here, some mysteries that you're finding out here, some things that you're uncovering maybe about yourself that are going to help you to be more independent and to be more willing to go for some things here, okay? Let's see. Yeah, but then we have the King of Swords. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about, getting clarity in regards to a situation, two of cups here, maybe getting clarity in regards to some connections that you have here, some connections that are um, going to be building here, some things that are going to be growing here, some intuitive wisdom that you're going to be getting, some things I feel like you're learning a lot about yourself. I feel like you're learning a lot about the way that you go about handling people and dealing with people and dealing with situations and dealing with connections, okay? I feel like some people were also sent to you as well like I feel like they were sent to you by spirit and by God like to help you grow to whatever it is that you're trying to build up here and also to help you learn more about yourself here so that you become more independent more clear more direct more stable more of a leader okay so let's see I like this energy for you Sagittarius I also feel like some things are necessary in order to get the ball rolling Okay, but what is this moon card? Can we clarify this moon card for our Sagittariuses? Can we clarify this moon card for our Sagittariuses? Okay, so... Let's see. 
So it looks like there's some hidden agendas here with someone, or this can be you as well. There is some toxicity happening here. There are some things that you're holding on to, some bounds that you have. It's just like you're bound to something or some habits that may need to be addressed and come to the forefront. But I do see that there are some things that you're walking away from. This could be a toxic connection because you also have the Eight of Cups here. So I see you leaving some things behind and stepping into a whole nother journey for yourself. A whole nother journey that could also lead to more love, more self-love, more emotional stability here and actually Ten of Cups. Like some things that, you, that you're going to uncover, there's going to be some things about your partner too. Maybe you're realizing that the person who you're dealing with or the connections that you have aren't as great as you thought they were or aren't as stable as you thought they were, okay? There are some hidden truths or some hidden agendas that some people may have, and I feel like you need to watch certain people who you have around you, okay? Because what you're trying to do is you're trying to reach that stability. You're trying to reach that full home happiness. Like for some of you, this is you, you know, manifesting and calling in like all of the things that you've always wanted to call in to be 100% fulfilled. When we talk about the tens, it's all about fulfillment. It's all about like the, the completion of a cycle here. So I feel like for you, I feel like you're looking to give more love and more emotion to some things that can help you reach this fulfillment and you're walking away from situations that are toxic. You're, walk, you're walking away from situations that aren't right for you. Some things maybe, I feel like with whatever connection that it is, I feel like this person just was always maybe like a give and take type of vibe, like a, a give and take. But I feel like you're realizing that and you're learning that about yourself here. You're learning that about this connection. And whatever it is, it's causing you to move forward. It's causing you to get a whole different insight about what it is that I think that you want for the future down the line. Like, is this person a good person for me to try to build a healthy home with, a foundation with? Like, even though you care about this person, I feel like there are some things that are going to be coming out in regards to the ways that this person goes about you know, dealing with life and being with you, okay? Yeah, Page of Swords. I feel like this person is very, um, this person is watching you. This person may have a whole new way of thinking when it comes down to how they want to approach you, how they want to move forward with you. But I do feel like there are still some conflicts that are happening here when it comes down to when you address this person and how to address this person. Then there's the eight of the eight of coins, which is the eight of pentacles. So I do feel like there's some things that this person still needs to learn about themselves when it comes down to how they're build, building up their life. This can be you maybe talking to this person and maybe addressing this person when it comes down to how you guys communicate with each other, how you guys think about situations. I feel like you guys may be on different sides of the spectrum as well. Like there's things that you're still trying to do and things that you're still trying to work on when it comes down to things where I feel like this person can also just be very immature in a way. Yeah, very like, okay, then you got the Knight of Cups. Like this person is very passionate, but I feel like it's more about like, them like i feel like their emotions get in the way of how they see you i feel like they're just so focused on how much they care about you and how much they love you this can also be a very like controlling in a way like a controlling emotionally controlling type of energy like somebody just being like very emotionally controlling okay yeah and then they got the seven of swords here so it's like they're definitely plotting. I feel like this is a scheme in order for them to keep you in their good graces, like in order for them to keep you around. I feel like these are things that they're doing strategically to try to make sure that you don't um, go anywhere here because I feel like they see you on a journey here. They see you manifesting a whole new different life. I feel like some of you may also be talking to this person about some things that you want, some things that you, you know, some some serious things. I feel like you can be very serious when it comes down to the roots that you're trying to put down in your home, like the life that you're trying to build up. And this person can still be a little bit childish and immature and not ready to man up or woman up to the type of person that it is that you see yourself building a life with. Yep. Okay. And then we got Leo energy here with the strength card here. So when it comes down to it, I feel like this person, I feel like you're very much so in control of your emotions. And I feel like you're trying to tame like a beast. I feel like you're trying to tame <laughs> a beast here. You're trying to control a beast. Okay. Let's clarify. Let's clarify using my princess deck. Can we clarify this energy for our Sagittarius? 
Can you clarify this energy for our Sagittarius, please? The Fool, the Judgment, the Sun, and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like there's a new start that's going to be happening. There's something that you're going to be doing here where it's just going to be like you making a decision to go forward. But I feel like a decision is definitely in the process here. I feel like there's some things that you're kind of just being like, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. When it comes down to the judgment card here, I feel like there are some things that you're still learning about yourself, but some things that you're also figuring out that you don't want to deal with. Okay, with the sun card here, I feel like this is this is you getting clarity. This is things being brought out to you. You have the moon and the sun. So I feel like this is definitely things being brought out from the darkness when it comes down to whatever this situation is that you're dealing with when it comes to this person. Okay, but then I also see with this Knight of Pentacles, I see... This Knight of Pentacles, this is you just being focused on the things that you're trying to build here. You're just going for it. You're doing, you're just focused on that coin. You're focused on the stability. You're focused on the things that you want to make happen. And it's just like, you're definitely going for it now. Because I feel like there's something that happened either in the home, around the home, or there's like an energy of somebody who's just in your energy that's just making you feel like, yeah, I can't deal with this anymore. Like, I really can't deal with this. This is just a frustrated, hyped up energy because this person can just be very emotionally immature. Like, I feel like they're also like spiritually immature as well. I feel like you might have known this person from social media for some reason. I want to say that like you might have met this person on social media, but I do feel like there's some things that this person is holding back from you. And because this person isn't, isn't giving you everything that it is that you feel like you want out of this relationship, I feel like you're just going to like blow the whistle on this situation. Yep, you got the high priestess again. You got the justice. <laughs> and then you got the four of wands. Yeah, it's like your intuition must tell you about this person. It's just like you already know that there's no balance here. I think you're looking for some balance and some stability. Somebody to be straightforward with you. I feel like you're looking for people to maybe also take accountability for their actions when it comes down to the things that you guys are doing. But I also feel like here with this four of wands, this is like just the beginning of the journey when it comes down to the things that you're trying to manifest for yourself as far as achievements and foundations and happiness and just like courting and things like that. So I feel like there's going to be a turning point for some of you. Let me see. I feel like there may be a turning point when it comes down to this connection and how it works out. But overall, if you're dealing with someone who's immature, dealing with someone who's emotionally immature, or somebody who's not trying to give you the things that you deserve when it comes down to a relationship, a connection, a friendship, whatever it is, take it as it resonates. I feel like those are the times where you're going to end up thinking about, like, is this worth it? Yeah, nine of wands and the eight of cups. Yep, it's just like, yeah, you're tired of trying to wait around for this person or tired of trying to make excuses for this person or tired of trying to, like always go through a challenge with this person i feel like there's always some conflict here but with the eight of cups again it's like it's making a decision to walk away and making a decision to move forward to something that can be a little bit better for you or something that's you know more more comfortable for you or something that gives you more satisfaction okay because i feel like with this person it's just constantly a challenge you guys are always going back and forth let's pull an oracle card just to get a positive message for you, Sagittarius. This is all positive because I feel like, if anything, you're going to make this person level up. If this person does want to be with you and if this person does want to work things out with you, I feel like you're going to make this person level up because you're, like, kind of giving them the ultimatum here. It's just like, yeah, like... This is what it is I'm doing with myself. Like, what is, what is it that you're doing? And I find that so beautiful, especially with this new moon in Sagittarius coming up. I feel like a lot of the readings that I've been doing, it's all about people leveling up and making the decision to move forward from situations that are no longer serving them. And I love that for everyone. I appreciate that for everyone. And I'm like very grateful but for you Sagittarius you have radical rebirth you see I feel like you're in a place where some things you're just trying to call in some different things for you here you're trying to make some things happen and you're trying to turn some things around for you 
Okay, now this can also be this person maybe doing a radical rebirth as well, just trying to maybe match your energy because they don't want to lose you. All right, but at the same time, I feel like overall, this is you. Okay, so let's get the guidance. The guidance for radical rebirth is yes, you can. Stop the struggle. You can choose at any moment to start over and be reborn like the sun. Okay, like the sun. You rise again and again. Dust yourself off, move forward and go for it. Life is about transition and change. You will fall on your face, change your mind and need to make a comeback again and again. Release the idea that you messed up if things aren't perfect. Stop waiting to be ready, make new choices and decisions. Okay, and the goddess declaration is still I rise. Okay, so it's just like, yeah, it's time for you to just continue to move forward. These are the things that are happening. Like I said, there's something that happened that, that's igniting this whole passion within you, this whole thing that's happening here. It's something, like I said, within the home, something within your partner, something, you know, take it as it resonates. But when it comes down to it, the situations that are happening are only to make you better and are only to help you to grow. And sometimes you have to go to grow. Okay, I'm going to leave that there, Sagittarius. I hope it resonated with you. If it did, be sure to like this video and also be sure to subscribe to my channel. You got this, Sagittarius. You can make it happen. I see you making it happen. I see you doing what it is that you're doing. You are divinely guided. You had the high priestess come out twice. So you are divinely guided. Guided. Listen to spirit. Listen to the little downloads that you get spiritually, the messages that you may get. For some of you, I feel like, you know, you can be on social media. And the next thing you know, as you're scrolling on social media, for some reason, I'm getting social media here. I don't know if some of you are like social media influencers or if people are going to be seeing you here. A lot of people will be seeing you with the sun card, but I do feel like social media is also involved too, okay? YouTube, um, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, like anything. I feel like you're very social. You're very sociable. Like people talk to you. You like to network. You like to be out there. Some of you could be starting your own show, your own podcast, something. I don't know why I just had to go there from my little motivational message, but take it as it resonates. <laughs> okay. But overall, some things happen in order for greater things to happen. Okay. So keep going for it, Sagittarius. I believe in you. I know that you can do it. You are divinely guided. God has his hand on you. You are getting messages. Follow those messages and just know that when those challenges arise, you got this, okay? You got this. All right. See y'all in the next video, Sag.